it is completely attainable to all of you. Um, uh, especially if you're younger, which a lot of you are. Just stick with it, do your best to keep track of it all, and you'll get it. <coughs> it really is as simple as that. Um, I would suggest that you try to do it, do what you can to get it done early, be, but if, if you want to be like me, <laughs> try, put it off until you're 18. Um, just like, don't be surprised when it's not the funnest thing. Um, okay, um, before I sit down, I just want to thank some people first. I'm like, actually, I should probably do that. So the first person I'd like to recognize is my brother, Matt Getz. Um, before he was off basically running the ROTC program in Syracuse, uh, he was an SPL here, and he was, like, no offense to like Ben and Derek, he was easily one of the best we've ever had. Um, <laughs> um, it was, okay. I'm biased, keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, he was such an amazing leader, and I often found myself acting like him whenever I had to um, want to take that leadership role. Well, I didn't take that leadership role, but whenever I had to lead the scouts um, during my career. And I really like to thank him for teaching that and just being in my life, because it's really great to have him as a brother.
it short because I'm sure you all want to go get food after this. So. My journey to becoming an Eagle Scout has been one of the most important and meaningful experiences that I've ever had in my life. The Trail of the Eagle has been the source of so many great memories that I will never forget. Trips like all of our numerous boating outings, camp reads, our historic hikes, summer camp, and NYLP have all been the source of so many great experiences. I pitched many tents in the rain, snow, on a mountain, and in all different camping sites. And each time it brings new stories that will last me a lifetime. The scouting has provided me with life lessons that, have changed, that I believe have changed who I am fundamentally. Scouting has taught me what it means to be a good leader and what the values of serving others. All those years ago as a Tyra Cub, I would never have pictured what scouting would have done for me. My journey has benefited from the guidance and company of so many people along the way, and I'd like to thank four of them in particular. Throughout every step of the, my journey along the trail to Eagle, Mr. Benson has been there to provide me with wisdom and advice that I need to complete my journey. Every time I had a question or I needed advice, Mr. Benson was willing to give up his time to help me. So keeping a more active record of all my nights in the tent than even I did for Camping Bear Badge, <laughs> to putting my Eagle project proposal in front of his own work for his own job. It never ceases to amaze me how much time Mr. Benson puts into helping the scouts if he wanted to. His one goal is to watch each and every scout succeed along their own trail to Eagle. And no one leader in our troop does more to help the scouts along their journey than he does. Mr. Benson, please come up so I can grant you my first meeting. lessons that I've learned to Mr. Sturzillo. Troop 192 is so fortunate to have a scoutmaster who is approachable, friendly, and always willing to guide his PLC in the right direction. Mr. Mr. Sturzillo has been a great asset for me and for the rest of the PLC. He's always willing to provide assistance and advice when we are in need of direction. Mr. Sturzillo, please come up so I can a second. spending the entire weekend talking to people to set up appointments and collection dates, or helping to clean out or organize donations piling up inside of our garage. My mom was there for everything. Without her help, my project would not have turned out as great as it did. My mom has been my mentor, not just in scouting, but throughout my entire life. My mom has always been my greatest supporter, and I'm always really thankful for that. person has helped me more along my trail to Eagle than my dad. From the moment that I joined Cub Scouts in first grade, my father's been there with me for it all. I'm extremely lucky to have a father who is involved in scouting as he is. I have so many great memories of the times I've spent with my father, from building Highwood Derby cars together and hiking historic trails to less exciting events like walking back to the car after falling into a lake and trying to, fall, and trying to fall asleep after a long day of camping while he was snoring like a diesel engine. <laughs> but my father has been an invaluable resource to me. Throughout my time as a den chief for my, Weeblo, my brother's Weeblo den, my father was always willing to hear me out and give me advice when I got in the car at the end of the meeting and complained that no one listened to me. <laughs> my father has always been there to support me when I needed it most. Without him, my scouting journey would never have turned out as it has. Dad, please continue.
thank you all for coming. It means a lot to us. And um, to all the scouts that are in the audience today, you know, you hear that, and I'm sure you realize that the trail ego is hard and it's difficult and tedious, but every second is worth it, so stick with it. Thank you. So uh, I think these four gentlemen just demonstrated how awesome they are and why we do what we do as leaders. Um, and seeing you on the stage is our reward for the time we put in. But um, it's amazing young men like, like these gentlemen is why, as scout leaders, why we do it. And it's just, uh, their speeches I think were very, um, demonstrative of how amazing they each are in their own unique way. So we wish the best of luck for you guys in the future. I think right now our eagles have a very strong urge to go back camping. Um, <laughs> intense. just have a little token of their appreciation for everything that you have done for them along the trail. You know, last week I went to my doctor and I said, sometimes when I feel like a teepee, sometimes I feel like a wigwam. He said, you're just too tense. <laughs> I will quit my day job. And finally, Daniel, Ben, Jake, and Derek, you deserve credit for achieving scout's high, scouting's highest rank. However, I ask that you wear your rank with humility, ever mindful that the Eagle Scout is looked up to as an example. For as Albert Einstein said, setting an example is not the main means of influencing others. It is the only means. May the Scout Open Law be your guides for tomorrow and onward. I now declare this Eagle Court of Honor closed. Thank you for all for coming and making this Court of Honor a special and wonderful event. Before we give our Eagle Scouts a final round of applause, we also would like to thank Pastor Doug Cummings for his generous uh, hosting of our event today, so thank you so much. Thank you, Doug and Cindy, for everything that you've done to make today a very special day. Uh, so, let's give our guys a final round of applause. Please join us after the ceremony to enjoy the food, re refreshments, and fellowship, and to honor our new Eagle Scouts. Um, and troop, don't run away, because remember, we got to clean up first, right? Uh, so please stand for our closing benediction, which will be given by Father Michael Parisi, pastor of Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, bless the young men whose accomplishments we honor today. May they always fly high, see clearly, and lead far. Bless their families, their friends, and all who supported them in their endeavors. Finally, Lord, we ask you to bless this country always with young people of character, generosity of spirit, and dedication to the values that make America the abode of virtue. Amen. Amen. Thank you.
Father Mike. At this time, I would ask Senior Patrol Leader Stephen Mango to have the Color Guard retire the colors, and Patrick Lowe lead us in the Scout Law. Please join the Scouts of Troop 2 in singing God Bless America. God bless America. Let's hit the grub, Bob. Huh? 